Oh, hä? Oh, Bilden! <laughs> Screw everybody! First things first, where the hell is Baku? Get your ass here. I've dealt with your shit for too long. Go to hell! This guy's toast. And who bomber man? Bless Mr. Boom. Alright, I'm gonna bomb somebody. Ooh, I'm gonna bomb Secret somebody. Secret Asian man. So I'm going for a more defensive version. Get up. Ah, fellow Get bomb lover. Grand Archive is actually not too bad against a bomb warrior because I can negate his bomb. The typical bomb warrior would be more aggressive than me. So I most likely are playing from the back foot. If he is Fatigue Warrior, my Grand Archivist gives me a huge advantage. And his bomb actually helps delay my fatigue. No, wait, no, no, it doesn't. No, oh, no, he might be... Is he... male oriented as well? Bomb number one. It's beginning. O-C-E-A-A-A-N man. Oh no, oh no, he's got ranch caliber. Now there's a bomb in my deck. Everyone start putting in oozes in your decks. Let's do it like this. This is really nice. So I got golden loose and bark. Should I get dust from that? I would say wait a little longer before you make any dust decision. He drew the bomb, which is actually not so good for us, because we want bombs in his deck for Blast Master Boom. Your magic shall not <sighs> Toast, keep up the good work. Thanks, Love man. the streams. Wow, upgrade range caliber spellbreaker for my Zilliax play. This is not looking good, chat. He's living his bomb dream. Drink up the oh my! Captain Greenskin too! Oh, we should probably put in a green skin instead of an upgrade. He got the perfect bomb. He has shuffled. Oh, wait, that's. Hi! What's up? I don't know. And my armor's broken. Oh, this is really bad. Hmm. It's playing around my removals really well. Oh, no, I drew a bomb. French caliber. All right, might as well use it now. Kill the healthiest minion. I like the Captain Greenskin inclusion. I'm really behind right now, but I don't think it's really because of my deck. It's more because he hit um, double upgrade on Ranch Caliber. Oh, and I'm drawing every single one of his bombs. Uh oh. Oh, there's two bombs in this deck. If I drop both, I'll die here. Maybe he doesn't have rush or charge. I live with one health. I've drawn two bombs already. 
Light the fuses! <sighs> if I hit that, I die to bomb. Toast I pagu. If I hit that, I die to bomb. One, two, three, four. What are my armor gain option? Well, I had heal and Zilliax, but that went kaput. I got shield block and Dr. Boom Mad Genius. Chat, did anyone order a bomb? I didn't know order a bomb. Did you guys want to order a bomb? Oh my god, he's gonna use upgrade to trip me down. <laughs> 3 and 18 chance to die here. I got Omega Assemblies, I can hit Zilliax, I got Omega Devastator. I'm Omegaing all over the place right now. Omega Assembly, Omega Devastator, Omega Assembly. And any big threat he can play, we can Omega Devastate. Omega Lee. So we should be fine here. Unless I double draw bomb, we good. What now? Those EU's having problems. Blizzard, this is unacceptable. Time and time again, are the EU players treated like second class citizen. And now there's a brand new release and their servers are down? Don't worry, EU. I stand with you. What now? No, I'm gonna protest. I'm not gonna eat any food until the EU servers are back up. I'll drink water though, I'm kinda thirsty. Hmm, I like the rover. Bomb to meet you. That doesn't make sense. Hey, look up bomb punch. Bomb. Stop. Four damage. I like it. Two damage. No. Three damage. Three. Two. Wow, that's on the better side. Bomb puns. Hang on. Got Look. home just in time to see the next expansion while enjoying my vegan. No cheese. Wow. He's Light at five health. If he draws one bomb, he's dead. Pizza. Wait, he just need to draw a bomb and I win the game. I should consider killing that because of magnetic potential. But then if I kill that, ooh, that animation. Order a bomb. Is he going to magnetize off his one random mech? That's really unlikely, huh? That's pretty unlikely. Alright, there's four bombs, so above 20% chance to win the game here. No! This game, this bomb warrior is just RNG. You're just like, I hope I get the bomb. Let's play Dynamatic. We're both mech warriors, everything here are mechs. Now he'll survive a bomb rotation. Uh, hmm. Rover and bend over. Hmm. He might have another brawl. I'll chill on this. 
I got four bombs in his deck, four bombs in my deck. Oh, that's not good. Even if I gain two armor, I never survive double bomb. You know, at this point, you just super collide your face. <laughs> oh, I'm the best! Get bombed. Nice, 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 nice. Only a true skill bomb player can make your opponent draw a bomb. That was a very, um... Explosive turn. Chad, do you guys have any bomb punts? Ooh. Secret Paladin. Okay. Secret Paladin, huh? I'll keep. Ex wow, this is a great anti secret paladin hand. There's no such thing besides non secret paladin. Secret paladin's all the way down. Toes, your deck really blew him away. Yeah, that's a good one. Secret on one and two, weapon on two. But if he does. Oh, no secret on one? Okay. If he doesn't get secret on one, his deck sucks as a secret paladin. It's actual doo doo. Wait a second. I'm thinking this isn't secret paladin. What? You think you can take me? Don't tell me you're playing Shavala OTK. Tell me you're not playing Shavala OTK. What the heck? Yeah, what am I looking at here? Two Omega cards. That's fine, we got uh, egg EQ here. Definitely need to execute that. No more spike rich steed, so that's nice. Oh man. Dr. Boom summon two one one bots. God, this card sucks. Like, a card like a 7 mana 7-7 seven, seven isn't good if you only get two boom bots. I feel like this card would only be played if you can summon at least four boom bots. I think two boom bots is not good enough. I don't imagine uh, people playing Blastmaster Boom if you can only get two boom bots. He's casting a lot of spells. My power is yet. What an interesting deck. Hopefully, it doesn't draw any bombs here. <sighs> I think it's better to Blastmaster here. And then we can maybe Mad Genius next turn. Consecration, I mean, there's four bombs. Chances of one of his minions surviving is really low. Yeah, I'll take it. The light oh my god, he's healing for so much. Once I get 10 mana, my Omega combo is coming online.
heal Paladin. He can heal and then heal and then heal a little more, and after that he can do some more healing. Let the pain speak to me. Reporting for duty. Super Collider. Hmm. Hmm. Does Coin Omega work? Coin Omega does not work. Even though that would be a sick play. I don't want to punch the 5 6 because I'm taking 10 damage. I'll just set this up for now. 7 damage is not a big deal. I can replicating menace into brawl next turn. He needs like a win condition. Oh my lord, this brawl. Ding ding. As long as the 5 6 doesn't survive, we're pretty Gucci Mane. Yeah, we're Gucci Mane. I'll coin for the hero power. Extra health. Really nice. I do not have a way to silence that. How do I deal with this? I guess like bombs or Mecha or or Mechathun or Me or Mechathun, I guess. Yeah, or Mechathun, you know. The ultimate bomb. Why bomb your opponent for 5 damage when you can bomb him for his life? Okay, here's the problem. Oh, guys, the clump. The clump theory. He, we just shuffled in and he drew it off the top. It's not a coincidence. If this has heal and armor and I don't have silence, doesn't mean he can technically have infinite immortal defensive prelates. Coincidence to acting crazy. Clump's not a real thing. It's real, chat. It's real to me. Hmm, I'm afraid to draw cards, but I have a Grand Archivist that can delay the like ten, and plus, I'd never beat him in fatigue. So I thought I get full refunds for cards that rotate out. Why didn't I get a full refund? Because if they gave you a full refund, every time a card rotates out, Blizzard will never make any money. Like Turns out Blizzard likes making money. Blizzard, you want some money? Like, yeah, 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 money, money, you have money? Um, hmm. I should do something with my super collider, like dealing one damage to the face. Wrench Caliber would deal 5 damage each. And he didn't cast Life Forge Blessing on his Immortal Prelate, thankfully. It's time to oh dang, he runs Dravala. Oh dang, okay. I swear to god, the Clump Theory chat is 100% real. Take that. 
Let's see what we get off. Oh, wait, I need to play this first. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. I love Omega Defender. Then do this. Galvanizer can hit my Mecha Thune, which means I technically can live in a world where I bash my own Mecha Thune with Shield Slam, provided I have enough armor. And given my opponent is playing a deck that can <clears throat> never fatigue, I'm kind of partial to it. We gotta win the game. And the way we win the game is by killing him. Hey Toast, they changed Wits Bang too. It's still standard, not wild smiley face. It's still standard, not wild. Yeah, that's because Wits Bang didn't rotate out. He'll most likely drop the Nozari here, right? If he has Nozari. Holy light. Let's see that Nozari animation. Do you like to play with fire? Tell us why don't you play Elec? Because I don't want to die into a wild party quality. And I can just play Elec now. Keep it on the board and get more bombs. Alright, 2 0 with the bomby bomber bomb. Now, is this a good deck? Sure, we're bombing them, but I'll keep going until I lose. I'm still on 100% win rate. The second I lose, I'll switch deck. Garrosh versus Rexa! Hunt hunter? Here. There's no good Victory hunter left. Ooh, upgrade without weapon. I think we can cut the upgrade and put in Captain Greenskin. It's pretty much strictly better. Greetings, traveler. What's up? Shimmerfly. Neat. No more crackling raids them all. Just scavenging hyena. That's fine. Bomb time. Bomb time, best time. That Immortal Prelate deck looks interesting. If you give Immortal Prelate Taunt, then it can infinitely taunt, right? But it's most likely a meme deck. Infinite Taunt. Infinite Lifesteal. Infinite Infinite. Infinite Infinite. Infinite Infinite. Total silence. Nobody in their right mind will run a silence card on the first day of a Hearthstone expansion. Anyone who does that is not a human being. Oh, what a neat combo. He rapid fire his own minion so that he has plus two spell damage. So that he can draw a card with Spellbook Binder. Genius! It's Spell Damage Hunter OTK with Varisa Windrunner. Oh no, this is... I'm a little scared. He's gonna whip out his AK-47. Go like... Brrrr, with all his spells. Hmm. Toast, can you explain to, this game to me? Well, everybody, this game is called Hearthstone. It is an online collectible card game where you collect cards and you play it against an opponent. 
That's that. That's all there is to it. Do I wrench him? Give him that good wrench. Nah. To get started, it's easy. You can download the game for free. But if you want to have any semblance of fun, you need to invest $500. But once you do that, boy, would you love playing against the same meta decks over and over. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, it's a new expansion, so a lot of new cards are happening. A lot of bad old cards are leaving. So. If you want to get into Hearthstone, now's the perfect time. Blizzard, I complimented you. Okay. I want, okay. No, uh, I, I complimented you guys. Don't get angry at me, please. Hmm. I think we just want Mad Genius here. I'm so I don't want to kill this because it might be Venom Strike Trap. Gonna hold a charge again. Because I might be able to keep Alec, which would be really nice. That we can double up on our bombs. Huh, that's a neat trick. Alright, we can wrench and then see if any of the traps trigger. Okay, it's either snipe or rat trap at this point. The fuses. Oh, it's rat trap. Oh, never mind, it's knife. Oh. He's got Varisa. He's trying to draw his combo cards and then machine gun me down. Ursa Tron's probably one of my favorite cards. It's so simple, three mana, three three. But the effect is very nice. Shuffle a couple more bombs. So now there's four bombs. Wait, five bombs in this deck. And this is where I think the deck shines. Once you put lethal of amounts of bombs in his deck, you're just chilling, right? It's only a matter of time till he's dead. All you gotta do is survive and not die. Oh no. no, no, no. Mechatum I'll probably pick just because it's a huge thick boy. I don't want him healing because if he's at 19, that means he dies to 4 bomb. If he goes to 22, I need to make him draw 5 bombs and that's just insane. Oh god, she got hit her AK-47. Uh oh. Hmm, this is concerning. Mechathun, kill her. Yes, one bomb. Two bombs. He's got three more bombs in there. <laughs> he has a 20% chance to draw a bomb here. Every turn, 20% chance, dead. 20% chance, dead. 20% chance, dead. He's done so. Mm, wow, that's a nice combo. But you're dead. Okay, now that he drawn a card, now it's like 21% chance for him to be dead. Hey buddy, you realize if you don't kill my board, it's gonna punch you in the face. The classic hunter. Dead on board. 
no clear board. One hundred percent win rate. So far, so good. Gerash versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Always assume aggro against Paladin. Looking for brawl, super collider, dynamatic. Nope, nope, nope. Oh no, this this hand sucks. Secret on one and two, two mana, three, four. Never tell. Okay, I mean it's not secret on one. That doesn't trigger your secret keeper, by the way. Hmm. No slam. No shield slam. Okay, they run out of gas really fast, so. No need to panic just yet. Chat. Nobody panic. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh my god, that's a lot of minions on the board. Close the gates. Eh. It's fine. That's fine too. Focus. Wow, that was just about the worst case scenario. Chat, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Put this apple on your head. Uh, he does have hidden wis Got wisdom though. I don't whisper means I can't play two cards. Jobs yeah, done. those health bots gonna come in real handy. Alright, worst case scenario again. It's fine. He's running out of steam and as long as he doesn't didn't put like big bombs in his deck, we're fine. Like, he will run out of steam. What's up, girl? Hopefully, I mean, if this is redemption, it's still fine. What we need to be very conscious about is never playing three cards. If we never play three cards, there's no way he comes back in the game. That's the problem with Secret Paladin. They run out of steam super fast, and their entire deck is one mana spells. And Divine Favor went to the farm. It's over. He's got nothing that can make him come back into the game. Okay, that's not bad. To the Ram Ranch. Ram Ranch. Ram Ranch. Double armor keeps me a healthy, happy boy. Oh, Hogga. <laughs> Wait, it's eye for an eye? <laughs> Two shield blocks and a hero power. Plays around hidden wisdom very nicely. Yeah, you need um bigger stuff if you want to play Secret Paladin. I think Secret Paladin is still good. But people are being way too aggressive with it. It's not gonna work out. The victory is yours. No. So can people stream snipe you in this game or do you not care? I th um the thing is I'm good enough to beat anybody. Stream snipers, no stream snipers. So it doesn't really matter. I have never lost a game. 
in this Hearthstone expansion. Let that sink in chat. Never lost a game in the Hearthstone expansion. Keep wrench caliber. That's true. Pilfer. If he has the 2 mana 3 4 rush, then he's the luckiest boy in the world. Like Pinocchio, he was really lucky. Why Rover? Rover is insane against aggro. I love Rover. Love the Eternium Rover, especially when it bends Dover. Your experimental plays and great YouTube clickbait truly inspired me to step my Hearthstone game up. Hell, I even installed Twitch cause it's so fun watching you. Well, thanks, Which man. decks would I'm you glad like to I see more you. of this early? Ah, uh, wrench caliber. Start shuffling some bombs. I could have also slammed. Not sure if that was a bad play. Yeet. Why the archivist? The archivist had put in to win fatigue matchup. <clears throat> Wait, you're supposed to combo that, sir. That's that's a that's combo, not a battle cry. Oh my god, he can't read. Sir, you're supposed to combo that. We got a pretty nice uh, blast master boom here. <clears throat> I think the aggro version of bomb warrior would be a little better. The more I think about how strong bombs are, like why be defensive when you can end the game by turn ten? Good, chilling. Next turn we'll go Blast Master Boom. Super Collider is more of a tempo play. Sets it up for the future. He's holding a lot of cards. I'm sure there's an academic espionage tack combo. Lots of memes available for him. Okay, that's fine. We'll just hold off on the Blast Master Boom a little longer. You need time for them to draw the bombs. But what if you just hear me out? Be lucky. I'll probably play a Chef Nomi deck today too. I know chat loves the Nomi. Why? I'll never know. But chat loves. Loves Nomi. Nomi is their homies. Vanish wouldn't be that Less good, right? Because I just get Blastmaster Boom back right away. He's definitely packing Vanish. I want to see what else he's packing. Ooh. What do we have here? Power of Creation. He's a rogue, so he gets uh, rogue minions to choose from. Oh, what the fudge? Oh, hello, Gavna. <coughs> You are useful as always. Mistakes were made. I'm so glad. This seems executable. Love I, you, Daddy. Okay, if I execute it, I won't have an execute for the future. That's a little scary. This hero power should be fine. Chat, I also told you guys to never call me daddy, please. It's really weird. Why are you guys making oh. things weird? Oh. 
Okay, father. Trying to figure out how he wins the game. <clears throat> it's some kind of thief rogue. He can infinitely never fatigue with Tog Waggle Scheme tax. Um, but test gray mains. It's not enough though. I wonder. Oh, Tog Waggle pick. If I hit him here, I can set his uh, death to. What do we have for removal? Man, this one's not bad. I want them to a uh, break point of five, a factor of five, because it means double bombs wins the game. I got one more wrench, two more clockwork goblin, and an elec. I can really bomb it up here. Let's check out what everyone is playing. By going to DisguiseToast.com Top Rise of Shadow decklist from pros and streamers Let's see, Aggro Druid, Malagos Hunter, Temple Mage Cogwaggle Rogue, Yoink Rogue, Overtoad Shaman Toast Bomber Man Which is the best deck right now Because it hasn't lost, it's still 5-0 I might just retire this deck after I win this one I'm 5-0 already and I know you guys want to see some new stuff. Chat, you want to see some new stuff? Like, winning's fun. But it gets boring when you do too much of it. And once again, this guy's toast is suffering from success. I, I'm sorry, Chad. I, should, I shouldn't I should win so much. I apologize. I, I just can't help it. Haven't given up, eh? What's this then? This would be a good time for a master plan. Like the fuses. Ah! Oh, that's not a non-mech. Oops. Unity, precision, I thought I was really lucky. It's like, wow, all four of them hit the right minion. What are the odds of that happening? Ooh, lackey. Those, what's this deck called? I call it Bomberman Warrior. People like to call it Bomb Warrior. I know uh, lower IQ players call it Boom Warrior. So it's really where you are. It's like that uh, big IQ meme. Like something like this thing. It goes boom warrior, bomb warrior, bomber warrior. Um, I don't know what what the last one would be. Huh? I can heal power, and he just one bomb away from dying. Ooh! Wait, wait, wait! Augmented Elec, two bombs, hero power. And then Sayonara, 4 out of 12. 3 out of 12. What's 3 out of 12? 25% chance for him to instantly die. Okay, never mind. If he plays Wondrous Wand here, he can draw 3 bombs instantly. 
That'll be really good for us. Five and zero. Oh. All right, chat. I do feel like we've been winning a little too much. If we keep playing this deck, everyone's gonna play it, and then won't be interesting. I may have made it look too good. Let's switch. Let's switch decks, chat. Because at this rate, we're, not, we're never gonna play a new deck, right? Lights out.